This PowerPoint presentation covers the life of Kate Chopin, who lived from 1850 to 1904. Chopin's Early Life Kate Chopin was born in St. Louis, Missouri, to Eliza Ferris O'Flaherty, a prominent French Creole who brought their family social status, and Thomas O'Flaherty, an Irish immigrant and successful businessman who brought their family great wealth. When Chopin was five, her father was killed in a train accident at age 50, leaving his 27-year-old wife alone to raise their daughter Kate and stepson George, with the help of the children's grandmother and great-grandmother, among other, other family members, and four household slaves. Strong Female Influences Interestingly, both Chopin's grandmother and great-grandmother were widowed at a young age, and like her mother, never remarried. Their great-great-grandmother and her husband were the first couple ever to be granted a legal separation in St. Louis. She also gave birth to a child after the separation to an unnamed father because became a keelboat entrepreneur and eventually a tycoon because of her personal business prospects. Chopin's grandmother taught her French history and how to play the piano, as well as encouraging her to live life clearless, clearly and fearlessly. Education she attended a Catholic boarding school called the Academy of the Sacred Heart. After she graduated, a nun who taught there recognized her creativity and writing ability and suggested she use her writing to help deal with depression, which she did in the form of a diary. Family Life At 19, Kate Chopin married a French Creole from Louisiana, Oscar Chopin. After a three-month European honeymoon, they moved to New Orleans until his brokerage business failed nine years later. Then they moved to northern Louisiana to live on one of his family's plantations, where she lived in a Creole community, which is reflected in much of her writing. Her husband died of swamp fever three years later when Kate was 32, leaving her alone to raise their six young children. She moved back to her family in St. Louis and began writing to help support them. Critical Response Chopin was both very popular with readers and scorned by critics for writing openly about such controversial topics as sex, love, infidelity, passion, female alcoholism, and women who are unhappy in marriage. Contrary to some accounts of her life, Chopin's novel The Awakening was never banned, and she was never denied membership to any literary societies. After The Awakening was condemned by mostly male reviewers, a private women's organization invited her to read from the novel and over 300 women came to applaud and praise her work. Some of her more controversial publications include the short stories The Story of an Hour and Desiree's Baby, the collection of sh short stories A Night in Acadie, and the novels At Fault and The Awakening.